Hi friends, welcome to this easy five minute tutorial where I will be showing you how to paint a pine tree using four colors and one fan brush. Be sure to check out the links below for other video tutorials that might be perfect for your holiday season. Let's begin. This is my favorite way to paint pine trees. It's super efficient. The key is just making sure you've got a nice stiff synthetic bristle. So avoid using hog's hair bristles, which are very um, sturdy and rigid, but they don't stay splayed. This is my ivory fling. It's going to stay nice and spiky, and that's really what you're going to need for a tree like this. So I'm going to start with my liner or a rigger. I'm going to use my burnt umber, and I'm just going to give myself a vertical line as a trunk, just as a base to start with, and then very quickly move into my hooker's green dark. I'm gonna test my strokes, see how much is on my brush, and it's kind of perfect right now. The key is to work quickly and work outward strokes, and then you can apply more pressure and start brush brushing uh, downward if you want to have those heavier branches. So outward and up. And notice I'm not using the brush completely vertical or perpendicular to my paper. I'm just using those last few kind of little fronds. Brushing outward. Now that looks like a bit like a pipe cleaner, so I want to add a little bit more depth to my brush strokes. And build up the green. So back to my hooker's green dark. I want thick and thin. I want a mix of sparse areas and really lush areas. And I want variety. Finally, I'm just gonna end up with a little bit of violet. That really helps to give that depth as you've been seeing. And I can just sort of tap that into the core. And if you've worked quickly, which is exactly what we're looking for here, that dark green paint that you put down initially is still gonna be active, so the new colors are gonna bleed perfectly. And it's really important to hide that initial line with paint. So you see, I started off with a base and then I'm just going back and kind of wrecking some of those lines that might seem too perfect. And I'm just using a couple little spikes on my fan brush here. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Now that this tree has had a chance to dry, you can always go back and add a little extra depth to its color by increasing the contrast. And once again, we can use that hooker's green dark as a base and add some new color to it. So I like working on dry and coming back to it like this because I'll get really crispy results. So here's the violet as we've learned, the violet and the hooker's green dark together make an incredible, beautiful um, dark green. If you want it looking a little bluer, just drop into your um, combination a little bit of the Prussian blue. If you wanted light coming from one side and just shadow on the other, of course, you just paint these shadows on one side. You can simply blot on the highlight side. I think adding those extra shadow colors give a bit more of a realistic look to it and it certainly contributes to a more voluminous tree. Be sure to check out links to my winter greenery and watercolor which also might provide you with some inspirational ideas for other holiday cards. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did please follow, share, subscribe, leave a comment, or you can even send me a super thanks, which would mean so much to me and would help me immensely in creating more content like this for you. Come follow me on social at Crystal Bashara Artist.